All right, everybody. Uh, good morning and good afternoon for some of you. Uh, my name is Ahmed Al-Ghandour. I'll be giving uh, the webinar today on the 3D modeling in ANSYS space claim. Uh, just before I start, I'd like to uh, pay your attention to our uh, webinar pages. We have uh, these coming webinars. Uh, feel free to register to anyone. You can find this on our website at Ozil Engineering. We will have uh, the coming one will be on signal, uh, sig uh, signal integrity simulation. We'll have one on heat transfer fundamentals with ANSYS mechanical, topology optimization, heat transfer with ANSYS CFD, shape application, mm -hmm. as well as uh, other other simulation, other webinars, as you can see here. Feel free to register to any or all of them uh, as you want. All right. so. Uh, I'll start the webinar right now. Uh, quick note before we start, in, uh, if you have any question, please uh, type it in the chat window. Either me or my colleague Adam will take care of it. Uh, if you lose me for any, for any reason, Adam will jump in uh, to answer your question until I come back. Okay, usually if this happens, it will be not more than one minute and then I'll come back again to the connection. All right, so let's start. Uh, today we're going to speak about space claim, which is the three modeling tool in, in ANSYS. So what is space claim? Space claim is called uh, a direct modeler software. It's uh, one of the leading direct modeling tool that people use to create uh, CAD or re repair uh, any uh, any any problem they might have space claim you can use it as typical CAD model you start from scratch and create with the sketching and then you go to model or you can import your CAD from any other software and do your uh, repairing or preparing or even optimizing uh, to this uh, to this model uh, with space claim it's very easy to uh, to to do parameterization you can do any parameterization to any of the dimensions you might have in your model. Uh, it makes things very easy. And if you contact, if you if you go to uh, if you go to uh, ANSYS, these parameters will move to you if you are doing any parameterization study in your FEA uh, analysis. It will be uh, very easy to, to do that because it will transfer automatically. Uh, space claim, it's really an easy to learn software. That's why it's, it has one of the shortest curve, even if you have no uh, background at all in, in, in CAD uh, softwares, you can catch up, uh, catch up with uh, Space Claim Direct Modeler in a very short time. So here's, here's uh, how we start uh, space claim. It's very easy. You can just go to start menu, go to your ANSYS, whatever license, whatever version you have, 17, 18, or even the rate, the latest one now is 2019 R1. Uh, once you go there, you can start space claim directly. Or if you can start with workbench, typical ANSYS workbench, and from there you import geometry. And then when you start, you start with new space claim geometry. So this is the two ways you can use to create, uh, to start uh, or to launch uh, space claim. This is a typical space claim window. Here we have the quick access toolbar. Save to undo to open files, etc. And then we have the repun tool. Uh, the repun tool here, which basically all the function you can use depending on which tab you are using. We see here we have design, we have insert, uh, we have display, measure, repair, etc. All of these, when you click on each one, you will have this uh, rep, rep on change based, based on the tab you're using. Here we have the structure panel where you have all the, uh, uh, the, the component of your model. And if you have any planes, any, uh, any uh, assembly features it will be showing up here. For the option panels, depending on what, what you're selecting, the, the options will change based on based the action you are, are working with. 
uh, uh, properties. Again, it's also changed based on, on, the, on the feature you're working with. And a status bar, a status bar that gives you some information on, on the model uh, based on the process you're doing. And obviously, the graphics window. Space claim, it's called direct modeler. Why is that? Because it works directly to the geometry without any feature-based modeler. So it's uh, unlike other typical uh, softwares in CAD, you don't really save the process. You don't have a history based uh, or hierarchy of what you what you did. So you will not see that I did uh, extrusion and then I made a hole and then I did uh, mirroring. Whatever you are doing as a history is not recorded. What is only saved here is the component or the geometry and a simply uh, option just like a line, for example, or tangent or something like that. Or if you have any plane or surface, that's what you will see here. But you don't have any history uh, steps uh, of, of what, of what, of what uh, steps you have done in your work. What you can see, as mentioned here, is the bodies, either solid or surface, curves, sketch or curves, or 3D, like what we see here, uh, assembly constraints, like a line here, for example, and the origin and planes. If you have any planes added to your model, you will see it here. That's it. You'll not see the steps. Uh, what files can we deal with in ANSYS space claim? With space claim, you basically can deal with any of the typical uh, CAD, CAD CAD uh, software, uh, software or CAD uh, files. So you can see here you have ANSYS file, you can read CATIA, the garden of the version, you can read uh, eCAD file, you can read uh, SOLIDWORKS, you can see here STEP file, you can see SOLIDWORKS, SketchUp, uh, pretty much everything that you might use in, in CAD, you can read it here with no problem. Uh, you can import or export. So if you have a model, you can import it to space claim. And once you're, once you're done, you can also resave your work to other uh, extension if you, if you need to do that. So here's the format. And then we have the space claim options that help you to control the import and export format that you might need in your, in your uh, new work. Please, if you have any question at any time, just type it in the chat window and we'll be, uh, we'll answer it immediately. Okay. So in space claim, there are different tools, but these four tools here are basically the, the main tools that you use it to do everything. Every, like literally everything you want to do, you can do it with these uh, four tools. Pull, move, fail and combine. This is what helps you to create the any geometry you are uh, trying to create for your analysis or even just for CAD. So the pull tool, one of the strongest tool in, in, in space claim, uh, you can use it to, com to convert your sketches from 2D to 3D. You can use it to uh, create uh, 3D or even a surface or a line based on what you are pulling. If, you, As you can see on the top here, if you are pulling surface, you get a 3D. If you're pulling a line, you get a surface. If you're pulling an, uh, a point, you get a line. So it gives you an extra dimension. So it's here in the design tool, you'll find this pull uh, icon here. That's the one you can use. And with pull, it will have, uh, as we're going to show you in the demo after the presentation, there will be different uh, features that you can use. You can use it to extrude, revolve, sweep, offset, and draft faces. You can create the round or fillet chamfer. You can do a uh, line or surface, as I said here. So all these options that you can have in any other CAD, you can do it here just from the pool. All right. We're going to show you this in the in the in the demo after the webinar. The move tool. Move tool is also the second uh, important tool in space claim because with the move tool you can translate part, translate, rotate, or even create a pattern. 
also you can use it to make a copy if you want so you can see here when you select the body and click on move you will have this tribe that you can use to if you move transitional it will do a trans, a translate wherever you want or if you are doing it on the rotational it can rotate uh, the bodies and if you if you use it with a click on a control you can easily create a copy or a uh, copy of, your, of, of whatever part you, you might have. Okay, I see no question so far. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, as I said, with, with this move, you can uh, move linearly or even on a curve, as you can see in the bottom here, you can move on a curve or you can move linearly. You can use it to, as I said, to make it copies of of your component just with clicking on control while you're moving uh, the, the body. Another strong tool here is the fill. Uh, with fill, you can get rid of a lot of features or uh, unneeded uh, gaps you might have. You can see here, if you have, if you select this line, then fill, complete the, the rectangle. If you have any holes, if you have any chamfers, fillet, etc., you can with fill, you can get rid of all of that. Uh, another thing you can do as well is you, if you click on delete, it will give you the same effect like fill in some in some uh, some situations. So you either click on fill or use delete, and you can get rid of this uh, features. Uh, Another important tool is the combine tool. In combine, you can use to cut or combine uh, com combine two components. So you can see here, if I have this part here, I can make it one part using the, the, the plus here, which is a combined one. Or if I want to, uh, if, I, if I select this icon here, I can split like what, what we see here. From this body, you split it to two body, and then you can remove one or two based on your in your uh, based on your option. If you use the cutter, or you can use the merging, you can do both of them just from the combine. And this icon here can help you to delete the unneeded uh, unneeded part. You can easily remove it from your uh, from your from your work. So combine is it's very common when you have. Uh, People use it a lot when they do meshing, and sometimes they need to clean the mesh or figure out where the problem, why, why I cannot mesh some parts. So you can use slice, and then uh, you can use the cutter to cut some part to different uh, component, and then start meshing each one until you figure out where the meshing issue, fix it with uh, space claim re re repair or with the fill, and then you can recombine them again as one part once you figure out where is the problem. Uh, or if you have one part and then one, you can want div to divide it for based on material or whatever, you can just use this combined tool uh, to cut it uh, to how many parts you want. There is also split body. You can use it for, for splitting. And we're going to show you that in the demo as well. Imprint. Imprint is a very useful uh, tool in, 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 in uh, space claim. Remember we said space claim, you can use it to import geometry or create geometry, or you can use it to uh, re repair or prepare a geometry you might have. Imprint is one of the tools in, in prepare that you can use it to, 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 to do imprinting if you have some uh, coincident faces or edges or vertices, it's very helpful to imprint it, uh, especially if you are dealing with FEA after that when you're trying to uh, apply some contact or if you're trying to do some, uh, like if you do CFD and you need some faces to be matching, uh, you know, like to transfer the, the, the data. So imprinting is very uh, strong and useful tool that you can, uh, you need. To, to use from time to time, especially if you're trying to use contact. So we can see here, 
all these parts here we can uh, print it easily like here for example we have this bullet you can see this surface here which will be defined as the contact area uh, if you go to FEA for example so imprinting will help you to instead of having all the internal contact you can just use this part and then things will be uh, easy to, to solve okay you can see here option is faces or edges or beam to curve and then you can define any contact or any any contact between faces or edges and then just click imprint and it will give you uh imprint on the on the body all right another tool that is very useful uh, especially for people who deal with uh, cfd is uh, what's called volume extraction uh volume extraction is very useful uh to create the internal volume uh basically if you have a solid and you have a uh like cavity this cavity will, will be filled with uh, fluid for cfd analysis you can easily extract this volume using volume extraction in in uh, space claim that saves a lot of time and uh, a lot of effort to, uh, to to rebuild the new geometry just for the flow it takes like a couple of seconds and then you will have your flow domain that you can use to uh, either in flow and to cfx you can just uh, have the, 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 the solid extract the volume and this volume will be your flow domain and you can just start your analysis in, in no time on the other hand side if you have external external flow analysis uh, space claim can give you exactly the same thing externally so let's say you have a, a car or airplane that you want to study the uh, the aerodynamics uh, or, or the fluid flow on the external surface you need to define an external domain uh, you can do that with the enclosure and with the enclosure you can as you can see you can create different shapes sizes up to you and then again save this body you can remove the solid and then you can take that to do your fluid uh, analysis uh, uh, i see a question what do well do is creating well between two facets uh okay Okay, we'll go back to this point in, in, in a few seconds about the weld question. I see we have a question from Adriana regarding the weld. Uh, we will take care of that in a few seconds. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Another thing is the suppress and activate for uh, for physics. This is a very uh, useful tool as well. Uh, Give me a second here, please. Okay, so suppress for physics. Sometimes you import a lot of uh, a lot of component in your geometry, but you don't really need that for the you don't really need that for the analysis. If you go to FEA or if you go to the uh, C, C, like CFD analysis, you don't need this component. So once you import this simply, you can just exclude whatever component from physics that means it will you will have the geometry here but when you go to the fea or cfd it will not be included so there is no you don't need to define any material or boundary condition or whatever for this part if you later and and the good thing about this suppress instead of delete is sometime you have you have an assembly and you want to study particular part of it as a start and then you start and then you want to go back to the full assembly so instead of doing uh delete you just suppress it and when you want to bring it back you just un unsuppress it or make it activate for physics and then things will be back to you in uh back for your analysis in in, in no time all right uh okay let's see can we say something more about volume extraction how to apply different ways to different cases. All right, uh, somebody is asking about the volume extraction here. Let me go back to that. Uh, 
he, he's asking, uh, could you please say something more about the volume extraction, how to apply different ways for different cases? Thank you. Okay, we will show that in the demo. I will show you how to do that. But in, 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 in the main point of that is, is you need, uh, as I said, if, you, if you're solving a CFD analysis and then you want to study the fluid through the geometry, regardless it's uh, air or, or water or whatever fluid, you will, need the inter you will need the geometry of the fluid. So to do that, you need to extract it. How you extract it, there is different ways. It depends on the edges or the surfaces. Uh, we're going to show you this in, in, the, in, the, in the demo. Uh, and 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 show you how to extract that. That's uh, will come soon in the demo. Okay, and the same for the enclosure. Enclosure is also for uh, usually people who do uh, fluid will, will take care. Of, will need that, so we can show that as well. Okay, name selection. Name selection is very. Uh, important uh, feature that you you need in in, in uh, FEA or CFD because it helps you to assign loads, boundary conditions, uh, or or regardless in in, in structure or in fluid, such like inlets and outlets, stuff like that. You will need a boundary condition. In in uh, space claim, creating a name selection or what's called here as group is very easy. You just select and you define a new group, and then you will have it. Uh, it could be a feature, it could be a dimension, uh, and, and it's, it's, it's really easy uh, to create. You just select it, go to groups, create new group, and give it a name, and then, and then you have it. Uh, as you see here, name selection can go for edges, for faces, for bodies, uh, and once you have it, you can easily, it, it will transfer to, to workbench as well. Okay. All right. Uh, I think this is the main quick feature I want to show, and then we can now go to uh, the demo. So if you have any question before the demo, please let me know. Okay, no questions. All right, so now we'll go to the, uh, the demo. So we can uh, second here, please. So I can see your question. If you have any question, I can see it. Okay. All right. So uh, okay. So here, his his uh, space claim. I just imported this body. Uh, as we showed you before, you can import, uh, if, I, if, if I want to say, for example, save as, you can see here all the, all the, the, the files that we can read or save. Here's what we show you. You can import any of these or save any of these, parasolid, uh, ice pack, uh, uh, step file, uh, AutoCAD, anything, CATIA, anything you, you use in your uh, CAD file, in your CAD, you can import it or export it from space screen. So let's go back now to the quick features here. So this is the main tool, and here's the, the main features uh, we spoke about, the, the pull, the, fit, the move, fell, and combine. So the pool, for example, if I click on the pool, you can see here, you can do the revolve, you can pull as extrusion, you can do some uh, rotation, as well as you can do some scaling. If you want to scale the body, you can easily do that. So for example, if I if I have this flange here and I want to extend, I, I want to extend the, the dimension of it, I can just select this surface here and I can easily and I just pull it. And let's say I want to deci decide how many, how many, uh, how long, sorry, how long I, uh, I want to extend it. Like here, for example, I can type 0.5 inch. And you can see now it's extended by 0.5 inch. Okay. 
by the way, anything you do in space claim, you can easily click undo, and, and that's it. So you can see when I did the put, which is equivalent to extrusion, there is nothing added here. Okay, that's what that's because it's not history based. It just directly directly work. Okay, so here's uh, one of the pull here. Uh, if I select, for example, uh, if I want to do some revolving, I can select. Uh, I will need to define. You see, there is always a message define an axis or to revolve. Uh, I don't have an axis here, so I don't think it, let's see if this will work here. I don't think this will work because it's a rotation now. Okay, I don't think this is it's a good example. I can use it, but uh, maybe I can do this. Anyway, all right, so you can see here I extruded, uh, I pulled a, a surface. If I select the line here, and I, and I, you can see it tell you what you want to do. You want to do a round, you want to do a chamfer, you want to pull. So if I click on this, it gives you two directions. Do I want to pull like external surface like this? Okay. Okay, it's a little freezing here, sorry. Yeah, here. So you can see I extended the surface. I can also use this line here to pull so internal surface here. So you can easily do the pulling and then extrude it. I can take this surface now and make a new solid. All of this was just using the pull. Okay, so let's uh, okay. undo this modification. Okay. Okay. So you can see how pool can be a lot of features uh, to extrude or to create create new lines. Okay, uh, let's move to the move one. The move is very uh, useful tool because uh, you can duplicate the bodies. Like uh, as you can see, if if I select the whole body here, and then I I. If I click control, do this, you can see I can create a duplicate in no time. Sorry, it's is slow, but uh, you can have a double, I have a, a duplicate of this body, uh, which by the way, you can do pattern as well, which will do the same thing. If you want to do linear pattern or circular pattern, you can create it from here, okay? Uh, the move itself can move some parts or rotate some parts. So, for example, if I let me, for example, I can select I can select the surface here and this uh, lines so I can select the hole basically. Okay. And then I select to move. You can see I can move this hole to another location in any direction I want. See? Or if I can click control, and then I like let's stop first and then click control. And then you can see I just make a duplicate from this hole. Obviously, now I'm doing it randomly, but you can define dimension and uh, location as you want uh, with no problem at all okay so move is a very strong uh, uh, strong tool that a lot of people use uh, in their analysis uh, something I forgot to mention in in pool is when you when you click on anything you can define you want to add or subtract or uh, or merge or no merge when you do components. So when I pull, I can do pull as add material or subtract material. Okay, that's very useful sometimes. So for example, if I do this, let let me show you what I mean here. So 
So for example, if I come on this surface here, if I select this surface and then I go to sketch, if I go to sketch and then I select a circle and I, I, I draw a circle here, okay? And then I click pull. Once you have the surface, if you click pull, now it understands automatically that you are, it converts the sketch to a surface. So if I click on cut, if I click on cut, it will start, it will make a new hole. You can see that. Or if I, if I click on add, it will, and then I pull, it will give me a new, an external cylinder added to this pull. See that? And you can see here, uh, it's, it's automatically merged. Uh, let me, because it's the same surface on the same body. No, this one did emerge, sorry. Okay. Uh, so, and this take us to combine. If I go to combine, I can select this body here. Okay. And then if I click control, it's automatically take me to this merge and then I click this body. And then now it's became one body here. You can see in, 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 in uh, I just click combine and then they are one body. Let's say I want to uh, cut them so I can select this body. And then it asked me like select the cutter plane so I can select this surface here. And then Sorry. Okay, select the measure or the cutter object. Uh, it's usually, I think it's easier to do that with a split body because split body is very efficient if you want to split the body at a certain location. So I can select this body here and then the surface, I, I select this surface. And then you can see now I have two two bodies. It now it's two bodies again, like uh, this body here and the cylinder. You can see it; it's created here. Just using the a split. Uh, now let's go to the fill. This fill here. Uh, let's say I don't want this hole here, so I can just select this surface, and I'm in fill just okay, it's gone. Same with here. Uh, if I click F, which is fill, it's gone. If I do undo here, and instead of doing fill, if I click delete, now I click delete, it's, 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 it's done as well. So fill can be uh, replaced with delete, okay? Uh, another uh, another uh, uh, location when you might need the fill is if you have any unneeded uh, feature just like chamfering or, 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 or uh, fillet or anything. So for example, if I go here and go back to pull and I, I do this surface here like chamfering, you can see here, okay? So I did that, okay, this round. And now if I select this round and I click fill, it's gone. So this fill can be useful for cleaning for uh, for for analysis, if you're doing some FE analysis and you you want to get rid of some of the of the unnecessary features that affect your meshing, you can easily get rid of that uh, using uh, using the fill uh, analysis. Okay. Another feature uh, that people usually like in in, in ANSYS is repair and prepare. Repair and prepare usually uh, are a good tool for cleaning your body. Uh, if you have a geometry and this geometry might have an extra edges or some split edges, with this fixing tool, it will tell you if you have any problem or not. Like this this body here is probably, I don't think it have, uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't have any extra here, but sometime 
uh, you might have some extra edges because the CAD model is not perfectly created and it affects your uh, meshing. So with this repair and prepare tools, it can help you to fix uh, fix your model and 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 improve improve it for meshing. Okay, uh, we can see here we can have uh, stitches, gaps, missing faces. If you have any missing faces or gaps, it will highlight it. Then you can fix it, and then you can remesh it. Uh, if you have any uh, duplicate curves, if you want to merge some faces, uh, you can do all of that using uh, the repair tool. Uh, if repair, okay. Do we have any question? Please, if you have any question at any time, just just ask it, please. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, the prepare, that's where I told you you can do the uh, volume extraction or enclosure. Uh, you can use it to create mid-surface if you want to work with shell. You can do that. Uh, so for the volume extraction, there was a question about that. So uh, let me first close this pattern so I don't need to work on both of them at the same time. Let's delete this pattern here. Okay. okay, this pattern here, let's delete it. Okay, so I now deleted the pattern, so they, they are now individual. Like, if I do undo, uh, let's, let's notice this here. Okay, I'm not sure if it's for this one or for, I think it's for this one. If I click pull, okay, no, it's for not, this is not the pattern. Uh, for the holes. Oh, I see. This pattern is for the holes. Okay. All right. So let's, for example, if you go back to volume extraction here. Okay. So when you click on that, it tells you how do you want to create the volume. There is different uh, options to help you based on the edges, based on the external faces, or the internal faces. So for this geometry here, it's the easiest one to create it is to do the edges. So let's say we have this uh, valve here and you want to study the fluid uh, going, uh, the internal fluid, okay? So you need to extract an internal volume that will be used as your fluid uh, domain. So if I select the edges here and then I select this edge here, which is the beginning and the ends, of your float area. You can see if I select this one as well. Okay, so now I selected the, the, the boundaries. Once I do this, let's start creating it. So All right, so now you can see we have now the domain created already, uh, which is uh, here, I believe. Yeah, this one here. So you see, if I if I if I remove everything and just bring this volume, so you see this is a volume that you need for your fluid analysis. This is just the internal. Intern, internal volume. So this is you can easily take this and and define uh, define your your uh, your geometry. And if you if you know CFD, you you know that you need inlet and outlet. So I can I can come here and I can select this surface here. All right, and then start creating the name selection or the group. Okay, I can easily uh, come here and say. Uh, uh i can i can define this surface and start creating uh new groups where is that um, oh create name selection here and then i can say for example this is inlet so now i have defined the inlet for this surface 
I can define the surface here as, let's say, outlet, for example. Okay, so now I have inlet and outlet, and this this uh, this name selection will be automatically transferred to a workbench in case you want to do some analysis there. Then you will have that. It's very effective and very uh, saves a lot of time. Okay, so now back to back to uh, space claim. Uh, Okay. Uh, interface, it's one of the uh, useful tools. Sometimes you have two components, they are overlapping. With interface, you can remove these interfaces and uh, get rid of any extra, extra uh, parts because this will affect your meshing. So you can easily clean it here. You can easily clean uh, all of this in, 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 in uh, using the interface. Uh, okay, once one thing I, I should mention here is because it's a very useful tool is the planes. You can easily create planes, and you can use it as a, either a cutter or you can use it to uh, define some uh, new dimension or new modification. So, for example. Uh, you can see when you click on a surface, it will create the plane on that surface. All right, uh, but also if you select, if you select the axis, let me zoom in. Like if you select this axis here, and there should be an axis here as well. Yeah, you see, if I select these two axes and create plane, it's automatically make a give me a plane that in the middle in the middle of the surface and if i click on sketch while while the surface is highlighted i it will automatically give me the cross section on this plane okay let me uh go home if i click on x here it will give me the side view Okay, all right, so now I can update. Uh, so you can see the plane, I can use the plane so I can look wherever I want to, to look. Uh, something I, I forgot to mention that might be useful is while you are in the, in the sketch plane, if you do any modification in the sketch, it will be uh, directly moved to the, to the geometry. So for example, if I select uh, this point here, and I click pull. It will it will uh, it will convert. It, I can edit this part here and can do some chamfering or anything just because I selected the point in the sketch. Okay, uh, I think if we use this, that might be even easier. Uh, let, me, let me get rid of this out. Okay, so <coughs> see that here. Yeah, so so if uh, another thing is you can use this uh, like sketch plane and section mode to investigate inside your geometry because you can easily uh, go through the geometry. If I click on this icon here, which is it's like a move thing, you can see that I can move in and out through the geometry. So I can investigate if, if there is any internal uh, problem in the model uh, in, 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 in no time, literally, okay? Uh, uh, 
Okay, something to mention, it's not for beginners, but if you are doing some uh, topology optimization, uh, there is this facets tool. This facets tool here, it helps you to, uh, it deals with facets or uh, uh, for if you are doing some 3D, 3D printing. Uh, you can have a geometry like this. Let me let me give you a quick example. Let's cut apart. Um, it's a cut apart from this, so we can easily uh, explain on 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 some parts. So okay. So let's let's do. For example, I'll take this surface here, this plane, and I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna move this this plane here. So let's rotate this by ninety degrees. Okay, and then let's say, for example, I will uh, let's move it up a little bit. Okay, let's let's split body. Let's split this body here with this plane. Okay, so now we have two parts here. Okay, so I will if I go to facets and then I convert. Uh, where is this body? Which one is this body? The top body. Yeah, this body here, the bottom body. If I convert it to facets, okay. Now you see, I have I have a facet body that is usually used for uh, 3D printing and uh, optimization. So if I hide others, let's hide everything else here. So you see, which which remind me to tell you that. Uh, you can import or save STL files from Space Claim. So if you are dealing with STL or if you need STL, you can import it or export it. Here with Facet, here is an STL file. You can easily start working with it. You can improve it and, and do some uh, uh, like cleanup for, for this STL uh, Facet's body. Uh, using the facets tab in, in, in space claim, which is a very useful and uh, effective tool, especially people who do some topology optimization or they do 3D, uh, 3D printing, uh, they can need that as well. Uh, okay, now let's go back uh, to the bodies. Let's do undo for this, we don't really need that. All right. Uh, please, if you have any question, please ask in case uh, I'm talking about something you want to know more about it. Any question? No? OK. All right, so uh, what else I should tell you about here? So, okay, so let's go quickly over one by one very quickly. So display, it's, you can manipulate the, the, the visualization. It's basically the colors. If you want to show some, uh, you know, wireless or, or wireframe, I mean, sorry, or, or, or solid, you can do that from here. Uh, assembly, if you use assembly, it's uh, it helps you to add new parts. If you want to add, if you want to make an assembly, you can just do it from here. If you want to do some, uh, the typical assembly feature like tangent align or reant, you can do it. Uh, you can do it here as well. Uh, measure is for dimensions. If you want to do, if you want to measure measure the mass or the dimension, uh, you can do also some quality. Uh, 
quality information about your geometry. Uh, facets is basically the one I explained to you is uh, it's usually used by the usually used by the people who do some of uh, topology optimization. Uh, uh, give me a second here, please. Uh, repair. We already talked about that. It's it's for repairing any uh, feature, any uh, default you have in your model. Uh, oh, workbench tool is very important because it connects your work with other ANSYS tools. So if you're using IcePack, you can prepare your model here for IcePack. Uh, if you and if you create your model here, it can directly take you to either ANSYS product, mechanical, AIM, or Fluid. Uh, so I think this is the main uh, parts we want to discuss today. So uh, if you have any question, please ask. If not, uh, we will wrap this presentation. So I'm gonna wait for like a minute in case anybody have any questions so he can, uh, he can write it. Uh, and another reminder that uh, we have, yeah, you, you, you are feel free to go to our uh, webinar, uh, to our page to see any coming webinars, also trainings. Uh, if you go to, I'll show you. Okay. If you go to OSIN Engineering, This is our web page. If you go to training and events, you will find all the coming training and webinar listed on our calendar here. So if you are interested in any of this training or any webinar, feel free to contact us at support at ozininc.com or info at ozininc.com. Uh, and uh, I don't see any questions. So I think with that, we will, uh, finish the presentation. So uh, thank you for listening. And uh, if you have any question at any time, please email us at support at Ozen Inc. And we will post this presentation on our website. So feel free to uh, watch it again or share the link with any of your colleagues. Uh, and with that, I would like to thank you everybody and uh, have a great day. Thank you.